Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, video vlog boxing prediction. Uh, this one is about the Errol Spence Jr. and Mikey Garcia fight. Um, what an incredible matchup. Uh, you have two awesome fighters, uh, both with different attributes. Um, one coming up in weight um, after impressing in his last few fights and devastating the smaller divisions. Um, seemingly being unstoppable. Mikey Garcia, 39 wins, 30 knockouts, no losses. Uh, coming up against Spence the Truth Jr. Uh, with a record of 24 wins, 21 knockouts. Um, Spence is a southpaw. He's very, very hard hitting. His power is his greatest attribute according to his record, but that belies um, what's hidden beneath the surface. He's tough. He's uh, rugged. He's very capable as a boxer. What he does is effective. He's efficient. Um, he doesn't waste energy with with unnecessary excess movement. Um, he's a great uh, shutter down of the ring. Um, and he finds some awesome counter punches and cuts off really good angles. Um, I think not, not as a result of, of his choices um, or, or his... Um, his desires, he's had a fairly low level of opposition. Um, I mean, he's only 24 fights in, uh, and he's boxed Acampo, Peterson, Brook, Bundu, Algieri. Guys, I mean, Kel Brook is probably the biggest name on that list. Um, arguably Peterson, in fact, um, with regards to who they've boxed. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can only beat the man that the team put in front of you. Um, and every time he's done it impressively and he's looked uh, fairly unstoppable. Um, for me, I think he's an avoided man in the division. Uh, not necessarily by the fighters themselves, but certainly by their promotional teams because they understand um, the quality of him as a fighter. Um, I know he trains with the Charlos and he's good friends with the Charlos. Uh, I've also... Um, read about and, and witnessed a few uh, discussions about him sparring with them, um, which when you consider he's a welterweight and they sort of walk around at super middle light heavy, then he's he's getting good sparring, uh, two world champions. Um, and then you've got Mikey Garcia, who cannot lose this fight. It doesn't matter if he loses this fight, he won't lose. He's a smaller man going up against um, a beast in a division. Um, people are calling a future Hall of Famer, a multi-weight world champion, and uh, Garcia is taking a step up. Um, he's he's incredible in his own right. He's multi-weight world champion. He's um, boxed some great names. He he boxed beautifully against Robert Easter Jr., Sergey Lipinets. Uh, he beat Adrian Broner. I mean, arguably, it was a very diminished version of Broner. Um, I'll get onto that guy in a different video. Uh, Zlatan Khan and Juan Manuel Lopez earlier on in his career, and he he demolished Orlando Salido in a in a fashion that nobody expected. Um, his skill is is unquestionable. With thirty knockouts in thirty nine fights, his power is unquestionable at lighter weight, whether or not he'll have that impact at higher weights. Um, for me, this fight comes down to size. Um, the old sort of uh, adage, I suppose you would call it, is that um, a good big man beats a good small man. In this case, we have a great big man against a potentially greater small man. But um, when you see them square off against each other, the size difference is ludicrous. Um, not just height, but also... Uh, sheer body depth and and size in total. Uh, for me, I think Garcia will box out of his skin, look incredibly impressive, and then get worn down and stopped mid to late rounds. Um, I really want him to do it. I, I love the guy. I think he's an incredible, um, an incredible. Uh, ad, uh, he's an incredible uh, advocate for the sport. And he keeps himself to himself in a manner that that engenders respect in other fighters. And um, his achievements in the ring 
uh, are under. I mean, you you can't even you can't even begin to to see what it takes to move up to welterweight when you're that size and feel so confident that you're going to win. Um, he has incredible charisma, and I tell you, man, I love the guy. He's a great fighter. I wish he would win because although I'm a Spence fan, um, this would be one of the greatest victories of this century um, in boxing so far. Uh, if Garcia does it, but my prediction is, I'm going to stick with it, my prediction is that Spence will win mid to late rounds by actual knockout KO, um, as opposed to stoppage or uh, retiring, um, I think Garcia is far too proud to let that happen, um, and he'll go out on his sword or on his shield, or however you want to see him go out, um, yeah, what a fight though, credit to both fighters, Spence is doing all he can to get big fights, but he's either being avoided, or other fights are being made for these guys, um, like Pac-Man and uh, AB Boxing. Um, Thurman's having a comeback fight, which is understandable given his time now. Um, and Porter's Boxing, um, uh, it was Kategui, I think. I think. Um, so, yeah, big fights in the division, and hopefully we start seeing some of the champions compete against each other after this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please, as always, comment below. Uh, in the comments section let me know what you thought like the video subscribe to the video and uh, give me a uh, give me a like give me a follow on other social media guys i'm on instagram over at matt goddard fitness uh, i'm on twitter as m goddard fitness and i'm on facebook as matt goddard fitness uh, thanks for checking out the video guys and i'll catch you all for the next one thanks all